It's another tutorial video guys. This is under dynamics of rigid body. So this is principle of work and energy. Okay, what is work and what is energy? So first things first, what is work? Okay, example tayo dito guys, meron tayong object, a crate, is, let's say, it is at rest. So basically, there are two forces acting on this body. There is its weight, and of course, what counteracts the weight is the normal force. Okay, let's say, we apply a force on this uh, object, and it moves at a certain direction. So yung tendency guys, if you apply a force on the body, it will move at a certain displacement. Okay, so let's say meron kang force and nag-move yung object natin at this, okay, at this distance. Let's say distance S. So it remains the same that meron tayong forces on the y-axis which is the weight and the normal force. And since guys, this is moving, okay, meron tayong motion. Uh, what will counteract that force acting on that body is what you call the frictional force. Okay, so we have discussed this on my previous video. So we have here the frictional force. Okay, so yung frictional force opposes the force that is acted upon the object. Now, okay, so what is the definition of work? So in mathematical expression, work is actually equal to the force times distance. Okay, so ito yung definition of work, guys. So basically, you have a work if the force causes displacement. Gagalaw yung object natin. So that is work. Now, what about energy? Okay, energy is the capacity to do work. Ibig sabihin, for example, if you push this uh, crate here, say at force F, small letter, and this crate does not move, it does not cause displacement, it means that you are exerting or you are consuming energy but you are not doing work because there is no displacement. So that's the difference between energy and work. If it causes displacement, if you apply a force and it move yung object natin, gumalaw siya, it causes a displacement, that's what you called work. And if you apply a force on an object, you are consuming energy but you are not applying work if that object is not moving so work is equal to force times distance yung work done by this force f since it is uh, going into the direction of the displacement to the right yung work done by this f here is positive okay yung work done by the frictional force is negative since it is opposing the movement of these crates. So suppose that yung ating force applied okay is at a certain angle. Okay, meron siyang angle with respect to the horizontal, let's say theta. Okay, so this is F. Then we have here uh, the normal force, the weight, and the frictional force. Okay, so yung movement ng body is again to the right. Okay, going here. So this is the say the displacement S. So the only force that is doing work on the system is actually the x component of this f since it is parallel or in line with the displacement so this is f okay cosine of theta okay so lahat ng mga y component lahat ng forces along the y axis is not doing work on the system because the movement of this crate is only along the horizontal so basically Itong weight na to does not do work on the system. And also this uh, normal force here does not do work. So yung work nito is zero, zero. But yung uh, frictional force natin, meron siyang work done because it is also parallel to the displacement. So lahat ng forces that are not on the same axis as the displacement, wala silang work done on the system. That's why in this case, Yung may work done by the system lang, uh, if you're considering this force here na naka-angle, is only its x component. Siya lang yung inline with that displacement. 
Okay, so that is another concept. Okay, so we can revise the equation for work. That work is equal to, that is F. Okay, F cosine theta times the displacement S. Okay, so we can, we can revise that uh, equation if that force is at a certain angle with respect to the horizontal. So another concept is the work. Okay, the work done by a weight. Okay, suppose that we have an object here. Uh, it is moving. Okay, it is moving downward. And meron siyang uh, height with respect to uh, some uh, a reference point. And meron siyang weight. So the work done by that weight, let's say U na lang kasi weight natin is W. The work done by that weight is the weight times that height. Okay, so this is another concept. It is the work done by a weight. So basically, just multiply the weight n times the distance, yung height natin. Now, let's go to the work done by a spring force. Okay, familiar naman tayo guys sa spring. Okay, so it absorb energy. Let's say, ito, meron tayong particle and this particle apply a force on the spring. So basically, yung spring natin, mag-compress siya at a certain distance differential s so we can actually express work in terms of derivative so yung differential work natin force times distance pa rin yun. but this time yung force is a function of distance and you have here times the distance itself differential s yung displacement natin now if you are going to integrate both sides this becomes w equals the integral of f as a function of s differential s Okay, so this is from the initial position to the final position. So this is another concept of work in terms of derivative. Pag binigyan tayo sa problem ng force as a function of the displacement. So the work of a spring force is equal to the integral of, etong f of s natin, yung force as a function of s, pag spring, let's recall that uh, yung force natin is just equal to the spring constant times s. So basically, f of s here is ks. So this is times differential of s and this is from s1 to s2. Okay, so yung work done by a spring. So k is constant, pwede natin ilabas and we can use here power formula. So this is k times s squared over 2. Then yung ating uh, limit is from s1 to s2. Yung elongation natin. Okay, so ito is yung work ng spring force is one half okay k s squared that is from s1 to s2 this is another concept okay so keep that in mind guys because we are going to use that in solving this sample problem so now finally what is the principle of work and energy so how can we relate work and energy in a single equation okay so the principle of work and energy states that the initial kinetic energy of the object, if the object is initially moving, plus all the work done by the forces acting on that object, so summation of all the work done, so let's say from 1 to 2, is equal to its final kinetic energy. Okay, so this is the principle of work and energy. Okay, we will apply this uh, equation for solving sample problem so let's solve guys some sample problems to further understand this concept in this first problem guys we have a force of 2000 pound force acts on a block at an angle of 28 degrees with respect to the horizontal the block is pushed two feet horizontally determine the work done expressed in joules so we are going to determine the work done expressed in joules so medyo meron siyang unit conversion okay so we have a block so the force exerted on this box is at an angle of 28 degrees so this is 200 pound force and yung angle natin is 28 degrees okay so the block is pushed so it is pushed two feet horizontally ayan two feet yung displacement ng box natin so what is the work done expressed in joules so we don't have a frictional force here so ineneglect natin yung frictional force so wala siya. So here we have the weight 
of the object, we have that 200 pound force at an angle of 28 degrees and we have uh, the frictional force. On this problem guys, wala tayong sinabing frictional force. That's why uh, we will assume here that the frictional force is zero. So what is the work done by this uh, 200 pound force at a displacement of 2 feet at an angle of 28 degrees? So the only force that is doing work on the system on that object is only the x component of this 200 pound force because it is the only force that is going into the direction of the displacement so this is 200 okay so this is 200 cosine 28 degrees so that is the force that is doing work on the system okay so work is equal to so that is f cosine theta we're in theta here is 28 degrees then times the distance let's say uh, uh, d okay so d here is two feet so let's apply this uh, principle so work is equal to f which is 200 pound force then cosine of theta that is cosine 28 degrees times the distance which is two feet so work is equal to so make sure guys that your calculator is in degrees mode so this is 353.18 okay foot pound force okay so this is 353.18 foot pound force but here ang required natin is in joules daw so we are going to convert this okay convert natin to newton si pound force convert natin to meter si feet Okay, so we all know that we have 4.45 newtons per 1 pound force. Okay, okay so we have here 1 meter per 3.28 feet. And finally, newton meter is joule. So that is 1 joule per 1 newton meter. Okay, so pound force here will cancel out. Okay, feet will cancel out. Newton will cancel out here meter will cancel out and we have finally a unit of joule okay so this is the final answer for this problem okay so let's solve for it so the work in joules is 479.16 joules so this is the final answer for this first problem 20 kilograms rate is subjected to a force having a constant direction in a magnitude of f which is 100 newtons, when S is equal to 15, the crate is moving to the right with a speed of 8 meters per second. Okay, determine its speed when S is equal to 25 meters. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the crate and the ground is 0 0.25. Okay, so we have this crate here, and we are going to find the speed when S is 25 meters so in this problem guys we will apply the principle of work and energy so that is the initial kinetic energy okay plus the sum of all the work done by all the forces on the system so that is summation of the work from 1 to 2 is equal to the final kinetic energy so basically if you are going to determine the speed okay when s is 25 meters that is on the final kinetic energy so the problem states that the car is moving to the right with a speed of 8 meters per second so basically the initial velocity is 8 meters per second and what is required here yung required sa problem na to is the final velocity so yung mga given pa dito yung displacement natin so what is the displacement so the displacement is so that is uh, x sub 2, let's say x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So yung final uh, position natin is 25 meters, okay, minus the initial position which is 15 meters. The displacement, change of x or d in this uh, problem is 10 meters. So that is the displacement of the object. So it traveled uh, 10 meters. Let's draw all the forces that are exerted on this uh, object. So the next step is to draw. All the forces that are acting on the body or on the particle so in this case of course we have the weight 
that is uh, directly downward. And of course, we have the normal force here. Then we have the force uh, on the chain that is 100 newtons. Okay, so given the problem that F here is 100 newtons, so the movement of this box is going to the right. Okay, that is positive direction. Now here, meron tayong uh, frictional force that is opposing that 100 newtons uh, force. So this is the frictional force. Okay, so we can actually uh, relate frictional force in terms of the normal force it is the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force so the question here is what is the normal force okay we have here the summation of newton second law summation of the forces along the y axis so upward natin is positive this is equal to mass times acceleration okay ano ba yung mga forces on the y axis so we have here the weight Yung weight natin is negative, so downward yon so minus W plus. etong N, which is upward. And we have here the component, the Y component of this, of this 100 newton. So, eto. Since this is opposite, so basically this is F sine theta. Okay, so this is upward positive. So, plus F sine theta. Okay, equals M, yung mass natin, so M times A. So, dito guys, uh, we have zero acceleration on the y-axis because yung movement ng body natin or the movement of the crate is only on the horizontal. So, we don't have uh, movement along uh, the y-axis. So, A is zero on the y axis. Okay, so yung normal force natin is just equal to the weight minus, so i-transpose natin F sine theta. But the weight is mg. Okay? Minus F sine theta. So the normal force is equal to you have here mass. What is the mass? So the mass is 20 kilograms. Okay, so the mass of this object here, the crate is 20 kilograms. So that is 20 kilograms times okay g natin standard 9.81 meters per second squared and we have here minus f so yung f natin is 100 newtons okay 100 newtons that is sine angle which is 30 degrees okay the normal force is 146.2 newtons Okay, so ito guys, kilogram meter per second squared, that is basically newton. So this gives us 146.2 newtons. Okay, we already have the normal force. So what is the frictional force? Okay, so the frictional force is the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force. So yung coefficient of kinetic friction natin is 0 0.25. So this is times, okay, times the normal force which is 146. 0.2 newtons. Okay, bakit natin hinanap si normal force? Because kailangan natin siya kay frictional force. Because frictional force does work on the system because it is in the same direction as the displacement. Therefore, it does work on the system. So, kailangan natin siya dito sa work and energy equation. So, the frictional force is 36.55 newtons. Okay, let's go back to the work and energy principle. So that is the initial kinetic energy of the particle plus the sum of all the work done by each force on the system, let's say 1 to 2, is equal to the final kinetic energy. Okay, yung initial kinetic energy natin is 1 half mass times the square of the initial velocity plus work. Ano yung mga work? done by each forces. So, what are the forces that are doing work on the system? Okay, in this case, uh, here, meron tayong 100 newton force, but the only force that is doing work on the system is of course yung ating X component. Kasi siya yung naka parallel doon sa displacement natin, which is 10 meters. Ayan. It's the only force that is in the same sense of direction as the distance. So, this is F cosine theta. So, that is F cosine theta. F 
cosine theta times the distance, let's say d. Okay? So, minus, isusubtract natin si frictional force. Okay? Kasi siya ay opposite to the sense of direction of the displacement. So, it is opposite. So, the work done by this frictional force is negative. So, that is frictional force times d. Okay? Then here, what are the other forces? We have here F sine theta, but F sine theta is in the y-axis. There's no movement on the y-axis. Therefore, the work done by these forces, the normal force, the weight, and F sine theta are all zero. Kasi yung movement natin is only on the horizontal. Wala tayong movement on the vertical. Okay, so the work done uh, by that forces are all zero. Lahat ng nasa y ay zero yung work nila. So this is equal to one half mass times the final velocity. Okay, initial velocity is given, mass is given, f cosine theta is given, distance given na yan. And we have here, we have solved this uh, frictional force here. And we can solve now for the final velocity v sub 2. Okay, so this is 1 half. Mass natin is 20 kilograms. Okay, velocity initial. The initial velocity of this crate is 8 meters per second. So, 8 meters per second. So, that is squared. So, plus F cosine theta. So, yung F natin is 100 newtons. Then, cosine theta, which is 30 degrees. Then, yung ating displacement D is 10 meters minus, of course, we have here the frictional force, which is 36.55 newtons. So, yung distance is 10 meters. Then, we have here 1 half mass, which is 20 kilograms times the square of the final velocity. Okay, we get V sub 2 here. Okay, so the equivalent of this left side here, so that is... 1140.50, okay, 525. Four. So this is joule. So this is 1 half times 20 kilograms times V sub 2 squared. Okay, extract natin si V sub 2. Okay, so we have here V sub 2 is equal to, okay, squared muna. So times to tayo dito, both sides. So 1140.5254 joule. Okay, times 2. Then, divide natin both sides by 20 kilograms. Okay, then, square root natin both sides. Get the square root of both sides. Okay, so this becomes the square root of this. Okay, so V sub 2 is equal to, so, eto si Joule. Okay, Joule, of course, is Newton meter. Okay, take note that Joule is Newton meter, but Newton... Okay, Newton is kilogram meter per second squared. Okay, so let's just change this to kilogram. Okay, kilogram meters per second squared. So times meter para maging Newton meter or joule. So basically, this kilogram here will cancel out. Then we have here meter squared per second squared. The square root of that is that is in meter per second. Okay, so that is our unit. Okay, so our Final answer here is 10.7 meters per second. Okay, so this is the final velocity of that rate. Okay, guys, that's how you solve problems involving a uh, principle of work and energy. So this is only, guys, part one of this uh, specific video. So these are two problems and we are going to solve another two problems on my next video. Okay, I hope that you have learned from this video guys. Stay safe sa lahat and if you are new to this channel, just click the subscribe button. You can also follow me guys on Facebook, that is facebook.com slash engineerprofph. Thank you guys and see you on my next video.